Good evening, Mr. Jay Prakash. Welcome to the Airwaves of Connect FM. Oh, thank you for having me, Prasu. How are you? Doing good. How about you? I'm so far so good. It's a busy time, but I'm good. So, how's your campaign going on so far? Have you started door knocking, and what kind of response have you been receiving? Uh, we are, yeah, of course, we have been doing door knocking. Uh, we are, we had a slow start. You know, this mm-hmm. is a very untimely and. Uh, a surprising call for an election by Trudeau this time but you know we are getting ready uh, we had a slow start but we are we are uh, in the game now mm-hmm. and what and, kind of response have you been getting and the first response we were getting you know why is why are we having an election now and you mm-hmm. know of course we cannot answer that they should be asking that question to Trudeau mm-hmm. and of course then then uh, you know the climate change raised by mo- uh, mostly the younger voters mm-hmm. but everybody raised the housing issue I think look look like that. Those those are the two uh, major major uh, issues. Right, you are up against Tamara Jansen and John Aldag. One is an incumbent, and other one is a seasoned campaigner. Uh, when you go for door knocking, have you been facing the challenge of name recognition? Do people actually recognize you? Uh, n- probably not as much as them, but you know, I this is not my first run, as you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, I ran for uh, mayor right. in the. in the last like municipal elections last time and uh, with us five other candidates as councillors and you know the the total team we got 40000 votes so you know those votes came from surrey so some people might know me hmm. so you're talking about the mayorship uh, election uh, you but you as mayor's mayor candidate you only got 1706 votes uh, right, but doug right. mccallum won by more than 45000 votes and yeah. yet you claim that you were the one who first floated the idea of skytrain extension to langley uh, then if this was your idea and you had such great ideas then why did you lose that election well <laughs> maybe you should uh, compare uh, the campaign budgets of mccallum and us and mm-hmm. uh, there's a huge difference and of course you know he um, he had a lot of name recognition at that point but mm-hmm. you know um, i didn't uh, do it you know to win an election or something uh, mm-hmm. but you know when i was getting into that fray not a single person not a single politician was willing to take up the skytrain course mm-hmm. and you know but of course you know uh, thanks to daryl and company there was a long almost a 10 years of activism going on at that time mm-hmm. but i believe my contribution was you know um, i didn't go much into activism but i turned it into a political agenda mm-hmm. formed a party said that okay if we come into power we will cancel it and then we did open houses and it was like full full open houses and prob- i i will claim that that's where makalan got the idea okay maybe this is a good uh, campaign promise hmm. you said two yeah. things uh, one that when you go door knocking people are talking about housing affordability and second that skytrain extension was your idea are you concerned that skytrain connectivity may also result in even higher real estate prices in langley well this is you know this all comes with you know the the, the development hmm. but i i won't i won't completely agree that you know uh, a housing uh, a cost increase mm-hmm. is um an inevitable along with the infrastructure development mm-hmm. but you know naturally you know the the value of the prices value of that uh, land in that area will go down uh, but you know the, the the land prices are increasing everywhere right not just where the skytrain goes hmm and what are your views about the anti flipping tax as proposed by the liberals do you think it will help well um uh, anti flipping is always there it's not only the liberal uh, platform you know mm-hmm. i think all the, like it is in the ndp platform also mm-hmm. um you know I, but <laughs> going to the liberals you can see that their candidates are the one uh, doing this right so mm-hmm. i don't know how much weight we can give it to liberals that like mm. but do you think anti flipping tax is a good idea Yes, I think so. Right, and your party was the first to release its platform, which contains some of the most expensive promises, like universal farmer care. Yet you have not provided any costing details. Are you worried that when you go door knocking, people may not trust your promises without proper costing? Well, um, uh, uh, I think you know, maybe let, let's read it. That uh, the the question is okay. Mm-hmm. Where is the money? Right, where is mm-hmm. the money to do all these things? Mm-hmm. That's probably the question. and uh, i can answer that question you know the co- okay now the costing and maybe i will i will have to answer the costing side mm-hmm. after answering the that question mm-hmm. so there is um, there is a report actually in toronto star i have the exact date here if you want to go and uh, check it it's 
2009, yeah, 2019, June 20th, mm-hmm. which basically says that Canada is losing as much as $51 billion un- in uncollected taxes annually. Mm. And I say annually. And the report it says that that's enough money to fund universal pharma care program and universal child care program without raising taxes. Mm. And they were quoting the studies by CRA and PBO, you know, Parliamentary Budget Office. Right. Yeah. So, you know, there is money... Yeah, yeah, there is money. It's, and then now it's about closing the loopholes. And I will give you that. You know, it's not easy to you know close these ta- tax loopholes, but that's a major, major source of income in our opinion. And of course, you know, the wealth tax. So if you add up everything, NDP is promising in terms of taxes targeted toward targeted towards the corporations and the wealthiest. We believe you know there is money. Your party has promised a wealth tax for people who have a net worth of over $10 million. Uh, are you not uh, worried that many people uh, in Lower Mainland may be skeptical about this promise of your party? Well, um, $10 million, uh, How many people do you know, uh, or how many, what percentage of the people in mm. Canada owns more than $10 million, right? Mm. Like majority of the people cannot even afford rent. One third of the Canadians are on rent. Mm-hmm. So forget in millions. So we are targeting only a very small population. And we are not, no, we are not there to you know, guilt, go kill there or something, right? Don't misread us. <laughs> we are just asking them to pay a fair share, which they have not been doing. That's all we are asking. Mm-hmm. Mr. Jayaprakash, I also live in your riding. Uh, let's right. have your elevator pitch. Uh, you have 30 seconds. Why should I vote for you? Well, there is already um, the, the two people against me mm-hmm. are already MPs. They already had their chances. Mm-hmm. And by any account, you know that they have not done it, their mm-hmm. things. I, whether it's in climate change, whether it's in housing affordability, they did not do anything. And this is the time for Jet Meet Singh and NDP, which is fighting for you. So, so on September 20th, vote for Rajesh Jay Prakash, for Cloverdale, Langley City, and for Jet Meet Singh. We wish you all the very best. Thank you for taking our time for this interview. And have a very nice weekend. Oh, thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night.